What's going on ladies and gentlemen, and today we are taking a look at the Mech Ideas Bluster and Trench. These guys are third-party figures that were sold in a set, and they are based off of the Transformers Animated Huffer and Pipes. Now Huffer did appear in Transformers Animated, specifically in Season 3, and appeared three different times, while Pipes has only appeared in the AllSpark Almanac 2. But he can be easily seen, or his character model can be easily seen, on the TF Wiki. Now, these guys are from Mech Ideas, and they were repainted in the TFCon 2014 and Auto Assembly 2014 Mario and Luigi 2 packs. Can you guess why? These guys are actually interesting in their idea, but poor in their execution. These little guys are pretty darn little. I mean, they're not big at all. The figures that by themselves, the figures are only okay. As I said, I think the idea of them is cool, but the execution is lacking. The size of the figures are pretty small, and for an over $70 kit that was with including shipping, I expected a little bit more. Here's AoE Scorn next to both of these figures, so you can get an idea of the size. As I said, kind of on the small side. The only difference between the molds are the chest piece right here on both of the brothers and their heads. That's it. They're both the same figures. Now you might be wondering, oh well, the Pipes figure is much taller than Huffer. Well, that's actually not the case. You see, as part of the transformation for Pipes, his legs fold up. So, as you can see, they're pretty much the same height when the legs on Huffer are extended. Each figure comes with a specific set of accessories. Huffer comes with these wrenches and plungers, while Pipes comes with, um, two pipes. Yeah. In the fiction, they are actual plumbers. They are Cybertron's plumbing elite, <laughs> believe it or not. So, yeah, um, that's not Mario and Luigi at all. I do have to give Derek Wyatt a huge thumbs up for the design. I love the thought of these guys and the design of these guys. It's just, as I said, the execution here of the figures isn't that great. So taking a look at Huffer first, there's not a whole lot of posability to be had here. You can move the arms pretty freely. The ball joint is located just below the neck, and then for the shoulders, that is. Actually, it's a series of swivels. And then the, there are ball joints in the wrists, and then part of the transformation is moving the arm forearms around. Head does swivel and is on a ball joint, but good luck trying to really get some good poses out of it. The cab is on a series of hinges, so you can get like this little girwalkish mode going. But the legs are my biggest issue with the design, and that has to do with the heels. The heels are just on these little hinges, and they move constantly. So no, if you're trying to move it, you'll tap, you'll tap it with your finger, or you'll just move it on your own. It's just a royal pain in the butt to get these guys posed sometimes, because you always have to keep picking them up and repositioning the heels. I'm glad the heels are there, don't get me wrong, but it is annoying. Now, Pipes, on the other hand, suffers from the same issues. It's just not great to pose these guys. Once you do get them posed, they stay put, which I greatly appreciate. But just getting them posed in the first place is a bit of a challenge. The transformation for each of these figures is virtually identical, and the transformation itself is not that difficult. It's more just fiddly in some spots. We'll start with Huffer. Take the cab and pull it as far forward as you can. Take the arms and fold them straight up like that. And then fold the hands so they're pointing forward. And then flip them down just enough so you see these tabs that are inside their elbows. And then you need to just position the cab and these tabs. Line them up so that they come together. And they, it is a little bit of a fight. It should be a lot easier than it is. And the tabs are rather short, or I should say they're too short based on the transformation. It's just kind of annoying, and the peg hole there is really slippery to, when, to get the pegs in. Then for the legs, you fold the legs straight up, and then flip out the shins, 
all the way and then just lay him down on his face. And that's it. That is his truck mode. Now, Luigi, I mean, uh, pipes is the same thing, except we're going to fold up his knees into his le lower legs and then just do the same thing with the arms and the cab. And unfortunately on my figures, there's nowhere to peg the legs in, which is a shame because that would help a lot especially if they would peg in well. And I'm an idiot. Now the reason I say I'm an idiot is because I've never noticed this channel right here on the side. I'm playing with these figures in a very darkened basement off to the side, and I didn't notice this before, but if you pull the hinge on the leg all the way up, you can then peg the leg underneath the hand into that little peg hole. I don't know why I didn't notice that. Simple. I'm an idiot. So you fold that up, peg it into place, and then you have a much more, or a more cohesive vehicle mode. Sort of. Kind of. Even with the legs pegged in correctly, I don't particularly care for these vehicle modes. They're just too dang fidgety. You can store the accessories on the backs of the vehicle modes, but that really doesn't do you a whole lot of good, especially if the vehicle modes look just completely discombobulated and out of whack. It doesn't really help them at all, but it does distinguish them a little bit considering no pipes, pipes. I want to like these guys more than I do, but I, I just can't recommend them. They're just too fidgety, and I don't like super fidgety figures. They just don't come together well in vehicle mode, and they're not all that much fun in robot mode either. If you have to get these molds, or if you really, really want to get these molds, I would track down the auto assembly ones, because I'd much rather have robotic versions of Mario and Luigi than of Pipes and Huffer. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review of Mech Ideas Bluster and Trench. As always, I'm Bolt Matrix, and I'll catch you next time.